Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thank you so much for joining me. And if you are a recurring visitor, thank you so much for coming by. Again, I really appreciate you all being here. Um, I am in a new filming location. I am trying out getting closer to my shelves. Um, these are the same bookshelves that are behind me in my videos previously, um, but I'm just sitting up a little closer to them. I rigged my phone up on a on a bit of a uh, sketchy looking stand on top of a little table here. Um, just trying it out, seeing it, uh, how it works. I wanted to get a little closer uh, to the shelves to hopefully help with some of the, the lighting and, and just to make the overall video quality look a little bit better. Uh, I am still filming on my phone just like normal, so I don't know how much um, of an improvement there will be video quality wise, but I thought I might as well uh, try something new. Uh, and I think it, it looks pretty nice, uh, so I might end up filming over closer uh, this way more in the future. Uh, we'll see. Uh, but today I wanted to just talk briefly about some of my reading plans for 2023. I had thought about doing this video back in December when it was still 2022, um, leading into the new year. That's basically when everyone else was doing their videos talking about their reading plans. And basically I just kept bumping it and I never got around to it. And now it is now. Um, and I thought better late than never. Uh, so I just wanted to just go over a couple of the new ways that I am approaching my reading and a couple of the thoughts that I'm employing in my reading life in uh, 2023 and have already started implementing um, as of today. Well, not as of today, but as of the first days through January that we have, you know, that we have passed through so far. Uh, so the first one is I am not participating in the Goodreads reading challenge this year. Um, and for those of you who are not familiar, Goodreads is a reading platform that lets you add books and track your reading and um, talk with other readers and, and leave written reviews. It's essentially a book social media platform and they have a challenge that they do yearly that lets you log your books uh, to try to hit a certain numerical goal every year. And for the last five years, I have always done the Goodreads Reading Challenge. And last year was the first year that I really felt more of the negative effects than any of the positive effects at all. Um, I do think that there's a good, uh, there's a, a good balance between um, motivating yourself through numbers and not. Um, and I think some personalities it works better for than for others. I know for my personality, um, it ended up not working out very well. And I found myself being much more stressed than motivated. And, you know, I don't want stress coming over into my reading life. Stress can stay in my normal everyday life. I want my reading life to be enjoyable and not not stressful and not feeling like I have, um, you know, I have goals I'm trying to reach or I have expectations I'm leaving unfulfilled. Uh, and so I decided that in 2023, I'm just going to completely scrap the Goodreads challenge. I'm not going to upset any any book number at all. I had originally sort of tossed around the idea of just setting it really low, setting it at 20 books or at 50 books or something that I knew I would absolutely be able to hit. But I decided that even that is still focusing on a numerical goal for the year. And I decided just to pull completely out of that and not have any number goal at all for 2023. So I have started out with absolutely zero expectations for myself of how many books I want to read in 2023. And instead, my new approach is I'm going to spend as much time on each book as I want to, or as I feel the book requires. And at the end of the year, no matter how many books I have read, it won't matter because I will have read each book with intention and with enjoyment instead of always feeling pressure to finish a book, to start another book. I didn't want to read for the sake of just checking off books on my list. I wanted to, I, I want to read for the experience, for the fulfillment, for the knowledge gained from the actual process of reading. And this has been something that I've had to spend a lot of time thinking with to sort of come to terms with and to sort of accept that I want to read for quality over quantity, because I think there is something 
um, that we want to have sort of an impressive list of all of the books that we've read. Or I know for me personally, I, I always want to have an impressive amount of books that I have read. But realizing that if you're reading, you know, 200 books a year, but you're not digesting all of them, what's what's the value in that? And, and last year uh, was my biggest reading year. Uh, but a lot of those books I felt I was rushing through. And when I would get to the end, I wouldn't feel fulfilled through the reading process. It was more this this mindless race to see how many books I could read before the end of the year came around. And so that's the big thing that I want to change in 2023 is just letting myself breathe a little bit more in my reading and dropping any expectations of myself that I might hold myself to dropping off any comparison with other readers, and really trying to use this year to connect with who I am as a reader and to become more um, more secure in my own reading style, my own reading habits and preferences, and really find out what who I am as a reader and lock into that. Um, for instance, my, my current read right now is The Empire Must Die by Mikhail Zeiger. And uh, this is an ex-library copy, and I can't get this uh, Dallas, Texas library system sticker out from under the mylar, so I apologize for that. Um, so I have, I've been reading this for 10 days now, and I am currently on page uh, 333 of 500. So I'm, you know, I'm getting closer to the end there. Um, this is a book that I probably could have read much faster being you know being in 10 days um inve having 10 days invested in this and being you know almost done i probably could have had this done 4 days ago if i chose to but i've intentionally slowed down my reading in this and i'm i'm reading slower and i'm reading smaller page chunks every day and i'm having so much of a i'm, I'm having a much better experience reading it and I feel much more connected with the narrative and I feel that I'm coming away um, every day after reading it, I feel that I'm coming away with more information and more knowledge, um, sort of more steeped in the events than I would be if I sort of sat down and flew through it and read as quickly as possible so that I could mark it as read on, you know, on Goodreads and, and read the next, you know, read the next book on my list. I want to be able to point to books that I have read and be able to say my opinions about them, be able to talk about them and discuss them in an, you know, in a well-informed manner, instead of just saying, I just read this book this week, it was awesome, and moving on to the next book. Um, and I think that for me, the way that I connect the best with books and the way that I sort of come away with the most um, fulfilled feeling and the, the most, um, you know, the most information is by purposely sort of putting the brakes on a little bit, slowing down, making myself think a little bit more about enjoying the process and not getting caught up in sort of a race with myself of trying to see how quickly uh, I can finish a book. Uh, so that is, um, th those are just some of my thoughts for how I'm going to be approaching my reading in 2023. Obviously, I want to read enough books that I have material to make videos and to talk about and not always just be giving reading updates about the same book, you know, for for weeks on end. Uh, but I want to put a little bit of a of a of a slowing down onto my reading um, and focusing more on the intentionality of what I'm reading and reading for quality over quantity. And I think in the long run, that is actually going to um, even improve my, my my videos because it's going to give me much more of a knowledgeable uh, presence when talking about certain books. I'll have more to say, actually, than I would when I just sort of bulldozed through a book. So I'm very interested to see how it will go for the rest of the year. So far, uh, so far here in January, it's been going really, really well. I've enjoyed my reading much more than I have in months previously, um, in months previous, just sort of by allowing myself to cut loose from any expectation of myself, any that that's sort of pressuring me or, or forcing me uh, down a negative path. And it's been very freeing. And I think in the long run, it's going to be a very beneficial addition to my reading. Uh, so that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have any thoughts, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Happy reading, and bye for now.